Hey guys, Sam here from keycommerce.com. Today, you're going to learn how to data mine your Google Ads account to learn way more about your customers and make better ads and strategies for your e-commerce store. Let's go. All right guys, when you start your Google Ads campaigns in your fresh Google Ads account, it's actually really rare to see amazing results from that first day. Your progress is usually linear and it goes up over time. But to do this, you need to work with the data that you have. You need to focus on what's working and get rid of the stuff that isn't. And you do this by following what's actually making money, what's making a profit in your Google Ads account. A big part of this is learning how to pull data from different campaigns to help other parts of your account. A great way to do this is with keyword mining. This is where you find keywords in your campaign campaigns and build out new ad groups and strategies. Let's jump into my computer and I'm going to show you exactly how we do this. Hey guys, Sam here from keycommerce.com. We're now in a Google ads account and I'm going to show you how to data mine your Google ads account for new keywords and new ideas. So here I'm in a shopping campaign and I'm in the search terms report. If you don't know how to find this, just go under keywords, search terms, and this will be in your search campaigns as well as your shopping campaigns. Now here I'm sorting by all clicks. I want to see what sort of um, search queries we're getting clicks for. Now, something to note is that Google has recently, as in the last few days, released an update where they're not going to show you every single search term that uh, that you are paying for when you get that click. And this is this is not a good thing, guys. And it's you know it, it makes it much harder for you to find opportunities. But you're still going to see. Um, a lot of um, search terms here and you can still use this strategy 100%. You're just not going to get all the ones that have maybe one click or two click clicks. So what I like to do here, especially say if, if you, if you uh, haven't created your search campaigns yet, you can create your shopping campaign and see what's actually getting clicks and what's getting conversions. Look at the search terms report here and we're going to go through and find all these ideas for new campaigns, new ad groups, new keywords, new ads, for those search campaigns, it's fantastic. So for example, this one here that's got the most clicks, Europe SIM card, that's performing really well. It's got like 45 sales. Uh, it's really low cost per conversion. It's doing really, really well. And that's a great uh, idea for building out a new you know, a new campaign. We have a campaign over here. We actually did this um, where we built this out into its own campaign. Same here, all these ideas, these are all great, uh, great search queries that we can then go and create a keyword that targets this okay, and, and an ad group in a campaign. For example, this travel sim campaign, this might be more of a general uh, search campaign where we could create an ad group that's about travel sim, one about travel sim cards, and you can create, you can put them in the same ad group. You can even put them in different ad groups and see because, because potentially, um, you know, they're, they're very, very similar. So I, I would say you could probably put them in the same ad group, but sometimes one might perform differently, even if it's got a slight variation in that word. Um, and you'll just have to see how it goes. And we'll create ads that are very targeted towards travel sim, travel sim cards, and it will have more of the benefits of the company. Something about Europe sim or New Zealand sim, you're then going to talk about the benefits of that specific sim card for New Zealand. And for your products, it's going to be a similar sort of thing. People, people will, will, will search for things and there'll be different products that you're selling unless you're, you've got a one product so, store, but even then you'll still be able to build up this campaign, but we still want to create ads around these keywords. So uh, Jap Japan SIM card, same thing. We want to create a, um, an ad group for uh, Japanese SIM card, Japan SIM card, and put some J Japan SIM card keywords in there and then create an, a couple of ads that are all about the Japanese SIM card that this this store sells. So it would be the benefits of that SIM card, but also like, hey, like the, the copy will be about that person. They want to go to Tokyo potentially. And so you can say, yep, go to Tokyo and do this, 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 and talk about it in the actual ad. So it's super relevant towards that person and what they want. Here it's pulled up a brand search term. It's excluded because we actually had a brand shopping campaign. It's a strategy we've done with this account. Uh, it's performed really, really well. Um, that's the same thing. You know, you'll see those come through, but if you've watched my video on how to create a brand search campaign, I recommend you watch that. Um, that actually goes through how to create that. And I, I recommend doing that before actually running, like you'll do it at the same time as your shopping campaigns. It works really well in unison because people are going to go through that shopping campaign and then come back um, and search for your brand um, to convert uh, the, probably the second or third day after they've actually seen that product. But you'll see here, there are all these ideas um, 
And, and for this campaign, you know, it's really well dialed in. We've got some really good negative keywords. So pretty much all the, the search queries here are all super, super relevant. They're all fantastic. Um, so we can, we can uh, you know, make, make new campaigns out of this. So SIM card for South America, another great um, idea for a campaign or an ad group. Fantastic. Kogan International Roaming, that's a competitor. So we could also do a, a competitor campaign around that competitor and see how that performs. This one here, see how the cost per conversion is much higher, $19. Um, really, really interesting. This one also is really, really high. So potentially that's not a, a good uh, a good search query. Uh, maybe the we could reduce the average CPC, even though it's quite it's lower than a lot of other ones. You, it's, you can't directly lower the CPC for a shopping campaign for a, for a search query. You can only lower it for a product. But if we did that as a keyword, we could test that out as um, it's only had $16, so it hasn't had a huge amount of spend. Um, but you could test that out and actually lower the bid significantly because maybe that'll then be much more profitable at a lower uh, bid. Um, for, for this one here, generally we see uh, branding, uh, sorry, competitor campaigns. They generally break even or make a little bit of profit, but they're not as profitable as say uh, other ones. So this one here is very interesting. So the SIM card South America, SIM card for South America, they've performed incredibly different, like very, very differently. The, this one's had 40 clicks or, th or 39 clicks, 37 clicks, but um, this one has had, you know, this one has 4.5 conversions, this one's had 1.2. It's, it's, it's a decimal point for the conversions because we're using the attribution model. I think we're using linear for this account. Um, I think I'll have to double check, but basically, you know, it spreads out the conversion if they've clicked multiple times. And because it, these guys have a really strong brand, often people will come through the, the, the regular shopping campaign and then actually convert later through, through remarketing or a branding campaign. But you can see here the vast, vast difference between these two search queries. Um, and so that could be, uh, I would say in this case, um, I would I would put both in a, in a campaign, um, in an ad group and test them out uh, myself individually. But I think potentially that's largely just due to circumstance and it just doesn't have enough data. Like you've only had 39 clicks, you know? So um, yeah, even one conversion at that amount is a conversion rate of, you know, 3% uh, or so. Uh, well, that one's had, you know, well, 3%, yeah. This one's had 11%. So I would say we need to get more data to test that out and you can do that with a search campaign. Um, so yeah, anyway, guys, so you're gonna go through your shopping campaign and your search, search term support and find other keywords that you can pull out and put into that search campaign. You can also look through here and find um, different sort of uh, content that you can add to your feed, particularly the description, maybe even the title, but try and don't keyword stuff it. I don't recommend doing that, but adding more content to your, your feed to make it more relevant towards what people are searching for. Very, very important in terms of click-through rate, but also in terms of Google, uh, figuring out what your feed is and showing it to the right people. Uh, something else, you can also do this with your, your search campaign too. If you look at the search terms report, especially if you're using broad match or broad match modified, sometimes even phrase match, you'll find other search queries that people are using that you may not have added as a keyword. And you can then see, okay, this one here is really, really profitable. You know, this one has a 12% conversion rate. Uh, really low CPA. Let's let's add a keyword. Let's add that as a keyword, maybe even exact match, and let's bid directly on that. Just because we really want to get those people onto our website if they've searched for that exact query. So you can do it for search campaigns, for shopping campaigns. Fantastic strategy, and this is all part of gradually improving your account. And you'll see with with Google Ads. Uh, accounts and campaigns, it's it often you start the campaigns and it will perform potentially really well, sometimes not as well, but the real power in Google Ads is the regular optimizations over time to, to get that incremental uh, increase in performance. And it takes time, guys. Um, there's some accounts that I've worked with, we've scaled them up to you know, ten, uh, five or six figures in revenue uh, within a couple of months. Sometimes it takes a year sometimes it takes two years it really depends on the market the niche the search search traffic what's out there uh the competition um all this sort of stuff but uh, the point is that you're going to be making those incremental changes and you're basically building this awesome profit generating machine that delivers pretty consistent traffic every single month and that's the benefit of google it's quite consistent largely more or less compared to facebook ads can be very volatile especially the last month or so maybe you guys have seen that it's been pretty crazy uh, with google it's quite consistent more or less as long as you keep optimizing and keep on top of it anyway guys that's it for uh how to data mine your google ads account for the search queries hope that helps okay guys that's how you mine your campaigns for new keywords if this video was helpful please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below that it is helpful stuff i really appreciate that feedback from you guys consider subscribing if you haven't already and i hope to see you in the next video bye for now